Sunday. Every Sunday we say, come and taste and experience the welcome of God. It is not an end in and of itself, though. It is the beginning place. We come, we taste, we experience this welcome, this love. And in that, we discover for ourselves a purpose, something that we can do. God needs people. God needs hands. God needs feet. God needs you. And may this meal that is set before us be one of the places where we hear that call and we feel that empowerment. Let us prepare for time at the table. the fact that we were once tattooed. We were tattooed with the emblem of sin upon us. There was no way for us to remove it. Not even Ink 180 could have done it. But Christ came and he took that sin away and he put upon us an emblem of love. That love gave us the life that we'll have everlasting. He told us at the last meal with his disciples, when he took the bread that represented his body, he took it, he blessed it, then he broke it, and he gave it to them and told them to eat, that it represented his body. And in that same manner, he took the cup at the end of the meal and said, take, drink. This is my blood, the blood that would wash that sin away from us even today, all the way down the line. So we invite you this morning to come and share that meal and realize just how much Christ must have cared for us because he gave his life for us. Now, what are we going to do in this day and age? Let us pray. Our God, in closeness to you, we find awareness. In your presence, we can find the strength and the courage to be the change that you would have us to be. Our prayer is that our prayers will bring about that action. That each of us has the talents or the gifts to make a difference. We give you thanks this day for these tithes and offerings to further your kingdom and lead us now as we pray the prayer that he taught our, your disciples. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Grace, how 
of you get my devotional. And the other day, my devotional was based upon the psalm, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I asked the question, are you ready to live your life in such a way that others can see your belief, your conviction that this is the day that the Lord has made? Well, the blog that I posted on is free. I'm too cheap to actually pay for the one that doesn't have the free advert or doesn't have the additional advertising. So I kind of scrolled down and noticed that after that devotional was a, a little video clip, an advertisement for a hair care product. And all it said was, get ready to be marvelous. <laughs> and I don't know, it kind of stuck with me because the Hebrew word for marvelous is pala, which which 
describes the marvelous acts of God. And thinking about this is the day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Get ready to be marvelous. Get ready to participate in what God is doing. Get ready to be a part of the marvelous acts of God that are happening here and now. Included among them, what 180 is doing. But there's a whole lot of other stuff going. And I believe that God is calling us as individuals, but also collectively as a community, to participate in all the marvelous acts that God is doing in the world. Here at Cypress Creek, every Sunday we extend an invitation, an invitation not only into this covenant community, but into a life-changing relationship with Christ. If you wish to respond to that invitation, you're invited to come forward as we sing or to chat with one of our pastoral staff or elders right after the service. What we want to do is we want to help you grow. We want to help you connect. Let us join our voices.